welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are and you enjoy this video then don't forget to click subscribe down below and hit the little bell so you never miss a video from me hello guys good morning guys hello guys hello guys morning guys hello guys hello guys so today's video is gonna be a super relaxed super chill uh, chatty get ready with me but more of just a chat really I'm not going to talk about any of the products I use if you are interested in other makeup videos I've done I will link them in the I button somewhere so if you want to see what products I'm using they'll probably be in those videos but I wanted to chat about my placement that I will be going on on Monday. I am so excited. So if you didn't know, I am in the University of Nottingham, obviously not currently, I'm currently in Wales, but I'm studying in the University of Nottingham. I'm now in my third year of a nutrition and dietetics master's degree. I am studying to be a dietitian, so obviously with that we have hospital placements. If you don't know what a dietitian is, Google it, because <laughs> everyone always asks me. Uh, but basically I'm gonna work in a hospital and help people with their diet and help improve their nutritional status and all of that. So yeah, obviously we need practice at that. So this summer I have got a 12 week placement in Sheffield Children's Hospital, which is so exciting. The first placement I did was three weeks after first year and that's the only placement I've done so far and that was in Lincoln Hospital so that was all adults so I haven't had any experience so far with uh, pediatric dietetics which is children dietetics and I am so excited I picked to go there because I wanted an experience of pediatrics because I think I'll really enjoy it I've just this morning been emailing with the one of the team leaders over at Sheffield Children's about my placement and honestly I'm so excited I can't even contain my excitement. I'm just, I just want to get there, I want to meet everyone, I want to speak to every possible patient I can. So yeah, that is the deal. So I'm moving up to Sheffield on Saturday. My mother and I are going to see Ed Sheeran on Friday and then we're staying at her partner's house overnight in Cardiff and then coming back on Saturday morning then I'll be going straight to Sheffield and I'm just really excited I feel like I'm gonna really try and get into it because the three week placement at the end of my first year was a bit um, hard to get into because I was only there for three weeks so I didn't want to get too settled but this is 12 weeks this is like three months so I just really want to like settle in, get to know everyone, make my little accommodation really cozy. I'm staying in Sheffield Harlem Uni Halls, so if you've had any experience with those halls, let me know down below. Uh, I think I'm in Central Key, something key. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. It looks really nice online, and hopefully, it'll just be nice. It'll just have everything I need. So yeah, that is where I'm going, that is what I am doing in case you've been wondering when I've been talking about it in my vlogs and things. Yeah, I've never been to Sheffield before. My boyfriend has a friend who was in university there and has just finished, so he's been a few times and he said it's very nice. Really good things about Sheffield actually. A lot of people that I've said I'm gonna be there have said, oh, it's a lovely city, you know, which is always good. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to exploring Sheffield as well and yeah i'm just i'm just so looking forward to it i don't know if you can tell i'm just honestly so excited um i'm still waiting for my results um i in theory i know i've passed because i think people who failed have already heard by now and i have not heard anything so no news is good news apparently but i will get my results i think it's on monday obviously it's only like my third year results so it won't be like definitive but um yeah fingers crossed i have done okay i thought my skin looked all right today so i'm just using a bb cream this is i said i wasn't going to talk about the products but this is a new purchase that i got for two pound it is the body sharp flawless bb cream with tea tree oil it smells so good as well i love the smell of tea tree oil um yeah i just wanted something a bit lighter for days where my skin's actually good and two pounds you cannot go wrong Anyone who is actually considering, like wants to know more about my course or is considering doing that themselves, I feel like I should talk a bit about what I'm going to be doing on my placement. So, my placement will consist of 
uh, shadowing dietitians and assessment and talking to patients and obviously because I'm in a children's hospital it'll be a lot of talking to parents not just the patients so yeah I'm really looking forward to just just speaking to people just getting lots of different opinions on things um, I'm just a very chatty person hence why I started this channel so I just love going up and speaking to people I do get a bit shy sometimes but at the end of the day you've just got to go for it haven't you so I'm really excited to meet the team of dietitians meet other healthcare professionals doctors nurses and of course meet the patients and the families so when I was doing my first placement in Lincoln which was two years ago now I can't believe it I think I was literally finishing like two years ago which is crazy it feels like yesterday but when I was there I was with another student and that was really nice because we got to go around together sometimes and obviously we went together for everything but it was nice to have someone to go in with on the first day but this time I am on my own in Sheffield so obviously it has its upsides and its downsides, downside being I'm a bit shy like I'm quite nervous about meeting everyone. I know everyone's gonna be so nice but you know when you've got someone to go in with you and sort of like they don't know anyone either it's a bit more reassuring but I'm sure that'll be fine. And then obviously advantages, I'm quite bad with comparing myself to other people. So um, like, oh, how did you get on? What did you see? So it'd be quite nice that it'll just be me and my experience and it won't really matter what other people had. Not that that was a problem on a placement, but it's just nice to just, I don't know, just compare yourself to yourself, you know, and just enjoy the experiences that you're having and not compare them to anyone else's. So yeah, just me and the dietetic team, but I'm so excited. I don't think the hospital's that big. I think that's why there's only one space, but I was so lucky to get that space and I've never been so grateful in my life. I honestly cried when I opened the email that said I was going to Sheffield Children's. I was so excited just because there was only one space as I said and I really didn't think I was going to get it because I think a lot of people applied for that as their first choice so I just can't believe it. I'm not I think it was random how I got picked but honestly I'm just so grateful I just I'm so excited if you're watching this and you actually work you'll probably think it's like oh be prepared to not be excited in about a week but I don't know, I just, I'm excited for now and I'm just so excited to just get into a routine, get into work. Uh, someone else I want to talk about in regards to getting in a routine, I was considering joining Slimming World because I'd quite like to lose about, well, half a stone to a stone. So I was considering joining Slimming World for help with that. But then I thought about it and I was like, Emily, you are studying to be a dietitian. You have all the tools to create your own plan and just get on with it. You know, like I don't need someone to give me a plan. I can sort of work out my own plan and that's even better because then I know what I like. I know what type of foods I'm gonna eat. I know how much food I need a day and stuff. So I've decided to create my own six week diet plan. So once I go in placement on Monday, I have six weeks of work and then I have a wedding on the 4th of August. It's friends of my brother and sister-in-law that I've also known for quite a while now. So I'm so excited and my boyfriend's coming as well. So it'll just be a really lovely weekend and I'm absolutely thrilled to be invited. You will have seen the outfit I have bought in my recent Cardiff haul, which I will link up there if you haven't seen it. Yeah, so I chose to buy an outfit then, which is quite far away from the wedding. But I don't think my shape's gonna change that much, you know, like if I lose weight, it'll be, well, healthy weight loss, one to two pounds a week. So it'll be um, sort of probably about half a stone. I don't think it would get to 12 pounds because that's quite a lot for me. I don't tend to lose weight that quickly. So I think about half a stone is probably realistic if I stick to it, which is the hard bit. But anyway, so the play suit I bought, it fits, I can get it on, which is always good. I wouldn't have bought it if not, obviously, but I just think it would benefit from a little bit of weight loss to look a bit nicer. So that's all I want, I just want to look a bit nicer, I don't want to lose huge amounts of weight, it's not like a dramatic weight loss plan, I just want to feel and look a little bit better. So that is what I'm doing. I think for me sticking to it is going to be the hard bit, 
writing it was actually quite fun so we will see how I get along but I'll be sure to update you my vlogs if you don't watch my vlogs hi watch my vlogs but yeah I talk about a lot of rubbish like that in them so <laughs> yes I will keep you updated as to how that is going when I'm on placement so in terms of vlogging when I am on placement obviously I can't vlog on placement I just can't vlog in the hospital I will not be vlogging work at all ever because obviously you can't and it's just not it's just not something I do I am going to be vlogging but just not doing work so I might chat for a bit in the morning and then chat for a bit when I get home so yeah it wouldn't be the most thrilling content but I will still be putting stuff up for you guys because I just love filming and I love editing so I wouldn't give that up so yeah that is my plan with that but in terms of other videos I am I could do things like what I eat in a day especially since I'm following this plan obviously it's not a proper plan it's very tailored to me it's just me throwing all my ideas in a book basically with some recipes I like to talk about my progress as as well as like maybe an everyday work makeup thing because I'm not quite sure how much makeup I'm gonna be wearing but it won't be too much so I could do like an everyday work makeup routine and then of course on the weekends I'll still be doing what I usually do so there will still be exciting stuff on the weekends I'll probably be going to visit friends or my boyfriend and his family and the cats just not so many week like in the week vlogs just little snippets and I might also do like daily vlogs so if I do something on a Saturday and then I don't have anything planned for the rest of the week then I just upload it as a daily vlog so the channel is growing and I will be sure to keep up with the content obviously I enjoy making videos and I'm going to continue to make videos regardless of who subscribes but it's just nice to know that people are enjoying what you're doing so if you hit subscribe thanks very much also, if you'd like to comment below with video ideas for me while I'm on placement, if you want to hear about the placement, because I can do a sort of like placement diaries, if that's something that you'd be interested in. I'm not sure because it's quite specific to my course. I'm not sure if it would interest anyone, but if you are, you know, wanting to apply to dietetics and it's something you'd like to see, then please do comment down below because I am always open to comments and suggestions and I'd love to interact with the people who have subscribed more so please do leave me comments down below. So my plans for today, I've talked a lot about my plans for placement but my plans for today, I have more printing to do for placement. I've had a lot of printing, just worksheets and like a map and stuff like that so yeah I've got more of that to do. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to need any of it but it's better to be over prepared than under prepared right? So I have more printing to do so I have to go to my grandparents to do that because we don't have ink for our printer. I feel like printer ink is so elusive like no one ever seems to have any. So yeah I'm going to do that at their house. I need to go to, well I need to get my sat and about my car so I can see the maker model because the bit that sticks it to the window has broken so I need to see if I can buy any one of those from Amazon. If not I need to go down to Halfords and ask them about it. I also need to go to M&S because I've ordered, right I ordered uh, black work trousers just like slim leg or skinny leg or whatever black work trousers from Next and I'm 5 for 8 and I ordered a long and they were literally cropped. Um, I have ordered some from Marks and Spencers also in a long and I'm going to pick them up today so I just really hope they fit because obviously I start placement on Monday I mean I don't really have a lot of time if they don't so hopefully they do my hair's quite greasy by the way I'm gonna dry shampoo it and curl it so hopefully it'll look a bit better after that then tonight we are as a family and my best friend's coming as my plus one because obviously Murray is in Lincoln we are going to the Indian round the corner that we literally live in if you've watched my vlogs of me at home before you will know that we literally live in the Indian we go every time I come home we just love it and we know the people now so it's just so nice and the food's amazing so we are going there I think it is my brother my sister-in-law, my mum, my grandparents and my best friend. I'm really looking forward to that. I always look forward to it. Oh, I need to pop down and see my dad as well. Okay, I've got busy a day that I realised, <laughs> so I probably should not be doing my makeup so slowly. But 
uh, yeah, so I need to pop into town, look on Amazon to see the adapter, go to my nan's, do some printing, go down to my dad's to pick up a clipboard for placement that he managed to get me, and then go out for dinner. So, a bit of a rush, but I think I can get it all done. I'm not quite sure what else they have to talk about. I think that was about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to wait for those to dry so I can get off all the excess mascara that is all over my face. Might just go with a classic Lolita 2. Yeah, Lolita 2. I'm finished doing my makeup now and have to do all the things that I just told you that I needed to do today. Thank you very much for watching this video if you did. I think I spoke about everything I wanted to. I'm currently filming a weekly vlog as usual so you'll see exactly what I get up to today. And I might film Ed Sheeran on Friday. Obviously you can't film a lot of it but I might uh, end it at Ed Sheeran on Friday. And then start a new one on Saturday. Sort of my first few days at placement, exploring Sheffield, etc. I'll probably show you a little tour of where I'm staying there. So yeah, good things to come and exciting for me. I hope you're excited for me. Give me a thumbs up if you are and if you enjoyed this video. And I'm really looking forward to good things to come on this channel. So please again subscribe if you haven't already because it's nice to know that people actually watch these videos and I don't just film them for fun. And I will see you in my next video really soon. Bye.